Hi, I'm Avery Scott for FourCornersTV.com, and this is the Local Roundup. Racing is the news of the day in Durango. In a rough and tumble fight for the championship, here are the final results. Keegan Swerble, 19, won the men's iron horse, and amazingly, it's only his second year of racing. Local legend Ned Overin, 59, went on to win the men's Omnium title. Mara Abbott won the women's iron horse race. She fell, however, to former Olympian Joelle Newmanville in the women's Omnium title. But many Southwest racers weren't just roaring up to Silverton. Cortez native Eli Tomac has been tearing up the track at the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship on Saturday. Tomac heads into the championship with a two for two victory. Tomac carries a lead of 19 points over all other competitors. And coming up today on FourCornersTV.com, everybody loves a good outdoor car, the open road, and a little adventure. Tim McGrath knows the functionality and reliability of the Land Cruiser, but you won't believe the bells and whistles on this personal build of his 66 Troopy. And in Farmington, Riverfest is one of the biggest parties of the year. Rachel stopped in for the first night to have a glimpse of what was in store for the fest weekend ever. Things seem to keep changing, and in Durango, the famous First National Bank taxidermy exhibits are being removed from sight with the new overhaul of the bank interior. The bank staff is assuring everyone that the mounts may not be so big or as visible, but they'll still be there. That's your local roundup. I'm Avery Scott for FourCornersTV.com.